Welcome back to Channel 7 News continuing coverage of election 2024. As we mentioned, second district congressman uh, French Hill seeking and winning a sixth term in the House of Representatives tonight. That's right. Channel 7's Daniela Dehogany has been at the Republican watch party tonight and she has the man of the hour with her right now, Congressman French Hill. Daniela. That's right, guys. Congratulations to you. Thank you. It's an honor to, to represent my hometown in the People's House and look forward to two more years in the House. And what can we, what can our Kansans expect from you in these next two years? Well, first to be constituent focused. I've spent uh, a better part of my 10 years focused on how do we help ordinary families achieve the best results from the federal government, whether you need help with the IRS or help with HUD or find a passport. So that kind of work is always uh, first and foremost for us. And also working with mayors and county judges on what can we do to support their efforts at economic development. And I know you were focused on health care. Can you tell me a little bit more about that, how it will improve in the next two years? Well, first, I think we have to have a more competitive pricing in health care. I don't think we have enough transparency. I voted over the past decade to have more transparency, more competition in health care, because I think that will bring down prices. And I think both Republicans and Democrats want to achieve that. Tough, it needs to be bipartisan, but our families need that help. And now to the, the United States presidential election. How do you think, uh, if, if will Republicans take majority, will Democrats take majority? How do you think we'll be affected by this? Well, I don't know that we'll know tonight. I hope we do. But it's based on what I'm seeing so far, I think that uh, it's clear that the Republicans will control the Senate. So the upper house, I think, <laughs> screw me, <clears throat> the upper house will be controlled by the uh, Republicans. And I think we're going to hold the house. So we'll have to see how it turns out at the top of the ticket. Either way, we need to find a bipartisan approach to lowering the deficit spending that we've had since the pandemic. It's unsustainable. Neither presidential candidate talked much about it, but I think it's very important that we bring down spending uh, and get our budget in a more sustainable focus. I also know, talking about spending, I also know that you were a big advocate of the border. Right. Uh, Securing the border is not necessarily a function of spending a great deal more money because over the last decade we've increased the wall and the fencing, we've increased the judges, we've increased the border patrol, but we need to enforce the law. And what frustrated a lot of us in the House is that President Biden proactively chose not to enforce the current immigration laws. I think if President Trump were elected, that's where he ought to start. And if President, Vice President Harris is elected, she needs to go back to the policies that were working that President Trump had in place. 